Today we're going to show you how to create repeating alerts. If you have a particular alert you want to set like crossovers or whatever, that you get tired of having to go reset it once it triggers, well you can create repeating alerts. Notice here I have one here. I've canceled it now so I can set it up again for this video. But see how many times it just repeated. And so to do this, I'm going to go to chart. This works for any any alert you want to do, but I'm going to do this on a custom one I got. I'm going to go to chart, and I'm going to create alert single. And I'm going to come down here to a study. And I'm going to delete what I have in here. I'm going to add condition. I'm looking for uh, a custom study I have. And I'm going to set it up. What I, uh, put some perimeters in here. Now, in this drop-down box, this is if if you're not doing a regular crosses, you have a drop-down box on some studies that gives you options of what you can track. So I want to track every time the arrow goes up that you've seen in that chart, and if that is true, I want to be alert alerted so and then I'm going to save and say okay make sure well first make sure triggered if true and okay I'm going to put a note in here and then here's where you make it repeat come down here to the options scroll down and it says alert for reverse crossover that's a they didn't they should have put create repeating alerts here or create repeating alert where it says create regular alert that's what you would do is you tick that box so just ignore what that's saying here it can work for anything like I just showed you so you're going to create and you notice I have my up arrow printed so it fired off right away. And it says it's submitted here. Now, in a few minutes, it will come back and it will say uh, active again. You just have to give it a few minutes, but it's going to reset and say active again. So I'm going to go and create my down arrow one. Create alert study edit I'm going to come in here and delete this I'm going to reset it up I'm going to add condition and I'm going to go to my study again find my study and I'm going to come here uh, for the down arrow make sure that's selected and I'm going to put my perimeters in here And if that's true, I want it to alert me. So we're going to save. It says trigger if true. Click OK. Come down here to the options. And then create regular alert. And did I make me a note? I probably didn't make me a note. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to create. Come back over here to Market Watch. And you'll notice uh, RG printed an up arrow that, that fired off a little bit ago is now active again. You see that. So that's active again. I told you to take just a minute for it to show up active again. It triggered and it's continuing to be active. I didn't have to redo that one. Now I have the RG printed a down arrow is also going to continue to repeat. And that's all there is to it. If this has helped you, how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a comment. You have a good day.